everybody, it's Lori Morlock with Let's Stamp with Lori. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and I'm so happy you could join me. It's really cold here in Texas, so I'm trying to stay warm. I hope you are too. We are going to use the Fable Friends stamp set. You can find it on page 30 of our Occasions catalog, and it's really cute for spring, Easter. So let's get started. We will use... It says Hello Spring, you can do Easter, you can do a baby, glad we're friends. And this really reminds me of Peter Rabbit. We're also going to be using with our Big Shot the Stitch Shape Framelits and the Layering Oval Framelits. And you will be using the, the biggest one on each one. This is the scallop and then this is just the oval. And we're also going to be using for the first time the Soft Sea Foam. It really is a beautiful color, so I will fold this here. Whoops, fold it the other way. Sorry that it's kind of scratched. I had to peel the paper off while ago. It is, the base is five and a half by eight and a half. I creased it four and a quarter. We are going to use the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. This comes in six by six, which is perfect. Because even when you cut it down for my card here, you get these two pieces left over, which you're going to be able to use on another card. You could use it this way. You just still, you're able to use all your pieces, which I really is what I love about the 6x6 six six paper. If you get the 12x12, 12 12, you can always cut it down the same way. So I want to show y'all some of the paper in this uh, Garden Impressions. It just is some really beautiful, Stampin' Up! really outdid themselves with this paper. And especially if you love flowers, and you get 48 total all the way in the package, and there's four of each of these. So as you're going to see at the end of this video, when I show you the instructions and the cards, I made this same card out of several of these backgrounds just to really give you an idea of what you can do and how much you know bang for your buck you can get with that designer series paper so I used as you can see I used the organdy ribbon that has since been discontinued because it was just so popular so what I'm going to show you I went ahead which you can get this out of your occasions catalog I cut it at six inches this is the Calypso Coral Satin Ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one, this ribbon, since, you know, you still can order it. So I did it at six inches. I'm just going to take a little bit of scotch tape. It'll come off. This is the paper I've decided. Even though, as you can see, I just wanted to show you that you can use another color. So I'll just lay this here, kind of in the middle, flip it over, attach it with some tape. Whoops, if it'll come off my finger or not. There, I guess it did come, let's see. Attach it. Attach the other side. Hopefully that lined up. Oh, look, I actually did it. We're going to attach this. And I apologize, I got excited earlier and put this down before I put the ribbon, so I had to pull it off. And I should have shown y'all how easy it is to do that in case you make a mistake so you don't just throw away your paper. So we're going to attach this, like this, and there you go. So there's a halfway done here. Now on the inside... I just did the Hello Spring, and I kind of matched it up. So I'm going to use the Calypso Coral here because that's the color that it matches the best. And I'm just going to put Hello Spring, or I mean Happy Spring. I just made up my own new little saying there. That's quick enough. And we'll attach that on the inside. And I ended up cutting uh, 
some of the Calypso Coral and some Whisper White in three by four, three by four squares. And I'm gonna show you why I went ahead and did that. Now I did, so y'all wouldn't have to sit here and watch me color. I have already stamped the rabbit and the grass in the black memento. I used, uh, as I'll show you, I did use the flirty flamingo here. I used soft suede. I used pool party, Bermuda Bay, and then the shaded spruce. And the shaded spruce was dark. The flirty flamingo was light. Soft suede, Bermuda Bay were the light color, and then the dark pool party. But I'll finish doing that here in a second. I just wanted to show y'all a quick, easy tip on this. See, since I did the three by four, I can cut these both at the same time. And then that way kind of saves you time on your, uh, on your Big Shot so you're not standing there for too long. So I'm just gonna match that up. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And like I said, I will finish coloring that just to show you the colors. If you haven't uh, gotten any of the blends, uh, I would, you could just get the stamp and write marker. It might, you know, it wouldn't, you know, since they're not light or dark, but you could sit there and do that also. So there's that. And then here, and in fact, uh, what's cool about these, you could keep these and get a picture frame and then put your picture behind these. So you've already got a really cute oval shape. So that kind of, that way you don't throw this stuff away, you get to keep it. And you can use it for another project or for your scrapbooking. I think that would be great too. And it's already done for you. So as I show you, let's see, I will just go ahead and here's the blends. If you, they always have like a, almost like a paintbrush or a pen. So I will quickly just do his ear a little bit. That was the flirty flamingo, the soft suede around his whole face. And of course, you know, you don't have to use my colors. You can color however you want. That's what's so fun about coloring. And my granddaughter loves, she loves to color too. So here's the pool party. We'll just do the rest of his little shirt here and it's really cute how it kind of does you can make it really look old timey or you can make it use these bright new colors and it looks all modern and festive it could just be about anything and here's the Bermuda and I just did his button it's kind of hard to see but I thought I'd just give it a little different you know a little different color just to kind of maybe make it pop you could probably put pearls or you know, kind of any kind of little adhesive, and on the shaded spruce, I just I just marked the little lines that uh, my grass showed up on. And of course, it's you didn't get to see me stamp it. Here is the rabbit, and here's the grass. So you know, you can just really do it any way you want. And of course, it looks really cute with it kind of stitched around. So. Found that really cute. So we're just going to, with our snail, adhere that to our scallop piece. And it's sometimes, you know, I feel like I have problems getting this to line up perfectly, but hopefully I won't do too bad on camera. Well, it was a, it's a little off, but it's still cute. And then we're just going to use our dimensionals. And I use I don't know, I guess it really doesn't matter one way or other. I usually do use five if it's kind of one of these scalloped ovals. Just uh, just to make sure in case if you were mailing it or something, it you know, it does stay adhered. But these would really make cute, the, gosh, these would even make cute thank you cards if you think about it. I mean, who doesn't like a little fuzzy rabbit? So I just kind of put it off setting here. And so there, that was so quick and easy. And I did, if I didn't do it on this one, but sometimes I don't think my edges look really smooth. So what I'll do is I'll color them. I'll just add a little uh, with my sponge and just 
you know, dip it in there. And I did go ahead, and I've already done this on my envelope. Look, there's a little rabbit sneaking out. He's just going to peek out and look at you and say hi. But thank you for listening to me today, and I hope everybody has a great weekend. My host code is MN632W9T. I hope you order. Here is my list of all, everything I used. And I hope everybody has a great day. Please come check me out on my Facebook page, Let's Stamp with Lori. Uh, I hope you come join if you're excited. If you'd like a new tote, contact me and I'll show you how you can get a tote and $175 worth of free products just from joining my team. Let's Stamp Texas. Bye. Have a great day.